So somebody I work with spotted the other day that I have multiple tabs open on my Safari as soon as it starts up, much like you can do with Chrome and Firefox. So let me show you in Chrome, for example. You see that it opens uh, Google, it'll have my Facebook account, Twitter, and some other stuff by default. It, you can do the same in Safari, it's just a little bit fiddlier to do. So I thought I'd show you how to do it. So fire up Safari. So mine's clean at the moment, so it just goes to my top sites. But what you want to do is open the sites that you want um, to open at default. So, I don't know, let's go for Google, we'll go for News, and say we'll go for, I don't know, Bing. So say, for example, we wanted um, all these three sites to open by default as soon as we open Safari. It's pretty easy to do. And what we're going to do is pop up to the bookmark menu there, and we're going to add a bookmark folder. Okay, so it's asking us for the name of the folder. I'm going to call it default tabs. Um, you can call it anything you like, really. And then what we're going to do is add these three sites to that folder. Again, it's pretty easy. Bookmarks menu. We're going to add bookmarks for these three tabs. And what we're going to do is change the location from the favorites bar to that folder that we've just created, which is default tabs, right down the bottom there. Okay, so we'll we'll save them all in there. So what we should see now in default tabs is all those those um, pages that we've just set. Okay, so the final thing we need to do is to pop into Safari preferences, Safari preferences, and have a look at Safari opens with and new windows open with blah blah blah. So what we're going to do is change um, that new windows open with, and we're going to choose uh, tabs folder. Okay. What we want to do is choose that default tabs folder that we've just created. So select it, choose, and that's it. You can now close it. Now, what should happen when we start Safari again is those three tabs will open automatically. And there you go. Google, BBC News, and Bing. Not a great mix, but there you go. Um, anyway, that's how you do it. It's pretty easy. You can change it. Um, you know, if you change what's in your default site, just put everything and anything that you want to open automatically into that folder that you created, uh, and under save tabs or in that folder, and it'll open them for you. Anyway, I hope you found that useful.